Most cyclists only ever train one part of their aerobic engine. And if that's all you train, you won't ride strong after two or three hours, even when your threshold power looks solid. So here's the real story. Your aerobic system doesn't have just one layer, it has three. Zone two only develops the bottom layer. That's why it works, until it doesn't. Some riders do long miles, others smash intervals. Different styles, the same missing layers. In this video, I'll show you the complete aerobic engine, the three layers your body actually adapts to, and how to build those layers in the exact order you need to finally go faster for longer. Let's get into it. Decades of endurance science from Holossi's early mitochondrial work to the coil studies on fiber efficiency to modern durability research all point to the same thing. Your aerobic engine adapts across different fiber types and intensities. You cannot build the whole system by repeating one kind of training. And this is why most riders never reach their potential. Not because they don't train, but because they don't train the complete engine. Your aerobic system has three layers. The first one is a foundational layer, your aerobic stability. The second, a high-end aerobic layer your sustainable speed. And the third is a top-end aerobic layer, your resilience under fatigue. Most cyclists build the first layer. Some build the second, and almost no one builds the third. And almost no one builds them in the right sequence. That's the entire structure behind my training, a progressive, layered approach where each phase sets up the next. So let's walk through it. Layer one, the aerobic foundation. Layer one is the foundation, the first four weeks of the program, and it's built through steady endurance. Consistent zone two, long rides, smooth pedaling, relaxed effort. It builds the things endurance science cares about. Capillary density, more oxygen delivery, mitochondrial density for more energy production, fuel efficiency, more fat use, less cost per watt, slow twitch, durability, power that lasts. This isn't filler. It's the physiological groundwork for everything that comes later. And here's the important part. You don't adapt because you repeat the same rides. You adapt because the load progresses. That's why weeks one to four of the program use a structured ramp. The right amount of volume, the right long ride progression, the right aerobic intensity. This layer keeps you alive late in a ride, but it won't make you faster. It's the floor of the engine, not the engine itself. Layer two, high end aerobic. Layer two is where you start to feel faster again. This is weeks five to eight of the program. Here we introduce tempo work, the intensities that train intermediate fibers and improve your ability to clear lactate. Scientifically, this is the layer that improves sustainable speed. It's what lets you ride harder for longer, not just survive the ride. If you ride six to eight hours a week, this is your best return on investment. Two high-end aerobic sessions a week structured properly can redefine your climbing and bunch ride performance. If you ride more, layer two stops you becoming durable but slow. This phase of the program has rhythm, not chaos. You're not guessing here. You are not reacting. This is structured, repeatable progress, the kind of week-to-week -week stress endurance research consistently shows drives adaptation. Layer one keeps you going. Layer two makes you faster. Layer three, aerobic top end. This is weeks nine to 12 of the program. Layer three is the one that most cyclists never reach, and it's the reason they fade late into every hard ride. These final four weeks of the program, they introduce controlled surges, one minute above threshold, two minutes under, and repeated. Not smash sessions, not maximal work, but deliberate aerobic top end training. This trains your fast twitch fibers to behave aerobically, especially when you're already tired. This is durability, the scientific term for your ability to maintain power late into a ride. If you often fade after two hours or you crack on the final climb or you lose wheels when the pace kicks up, this is the missing layer. And yes, 
in the program. These workouts sit later in the ride, not just at the start, because that's when you actually build durability. Layer 3 ties the process together and it prepares you for real world performance. So how do you put this all together without feeling overwhelmed? In the 12 week program, it follows a layered progression. Weeks one to four are the foundation. This is steady riding, long ride boosters, progressive overload, volume drives adaptation here. The research on aerobic efficiency, LT1 drift, and mitochondrial biogenesis sit here. Weeks five to eight is the high end aerobic, your tempo sweet spot threshold. And this is structured intensity, consistent rhythm. This matches what decades of research shows about improving sustainable power. And then weeks nine to 12 are your durability and aerobic top end, your over unders, your controlled surges under fatigue. This is where fast twitch, aerobic training comes in. This is supported by newer durability studies showing fatigue alters how much power you can produce late into a ride. Each layer sets up the next. You don't need to rush ahead, but you also don't want to get stuck. You move when the layer beneath you is stable. That's why this structure works so well. It follows how the body actually adapts. You're not undertrained. You're not incompletely trained. Once you build all three layers and you maintain them, you stop fading at two hours. You stop cracking on the last climb and you finally feel your fitness show up when it counts. That's what this 12 week program is designed to do. It builds the complete aerobic engine in the right order so you can finally go faster for longer. If you want deeper guidance inside your own weekly structure, that's exactly what we do inside Team Semi Pro, and you can find the links below.